The bond for former Catholic priest Lawrence Hecker will remain at $850,000. WGNO Zach Lobby is live from criminal court with more. Zach. Hey, good morning, Amy. Well, Hecker was not in the courtroom this morning. There was no specific reason given for that, but the request to reduce his bond was denied by the judge. This despite the defense arguing that Hecker is not a risk to public safety uh, and or a flight risk. He was willing to uh, enter into 24 hour surveillance under house arrest. But despite that, the judge still denied the request to reduce that $850,000 bond. So Hecker joins uh, one of many Catholic churches uh, members who have faced sexual assault allegations despite decades after alleged, alleged offense. His charges include aggravated rape, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated crime against nature, and theft. Those allegations stretch all the way back to the 70s are an emerging now due to a bipartisan passed look back window. This legislation allows survivors of sexual assault to take legal action against their abusers much later than the law previously allowed. Today's hearing focused on Hecker's bond, currently set at that $850,000. His attorney argues Hecker can't afford to pay and insists he's not a flight risk because of his age and mobility. He also claimed the plaintiffs haven't provided enough evidence to justify such a high bond. But the judge said he considered all of those factors when the bond was initially set. Hecker's attorney now says that they are seeking a second opinion. The judge made his ruling and respectfully, you know, we've decided to, to take it up to the Fourth Circuit uh, to, to get a further ruling. And so this hearing was originally scheduled for tomorrow, but it was moved up to today. There was no specific reason given for that, but the plaintiffs say they planned on filing a response to the request for that bond reduction, and they still plan on filing that. They'll just do that later on today. Uh, the defense will use that in their application for that appeal as well. So uh, we're really just going to have to see what plays out next as that appeal process goes through. But there is another court date for a discovery hearing set for October 17th. So we're going to keep you up to date with everything with this case as it becomes available on our website, WGNO.com. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much for that update, Zach.